I wish we had like buttons or a return my sex. The, oh my God, I wish too. Yeah, oh my God, I would like, take like return a return my sex. Return it back. Take yeah, my body count yeah, back. Yeah, like can I return it? Oh. Like I wish we had a refund system. Hello everyone, my name is Kanye Bao. I am part of the cast of Young, Famous and African Season 2. Hi guys, I'm Fantana and I'm also part of the cast of Young, Famous and African Season 2. Welcome girl. Oh, I'm so happy you're in my country. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. So I have a few questions to ask you because I haven't seen you in a very long time. I know. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. How do you define intimacy? Sex? Like, whatever. I mean, oh, how do you define whatever? I mean, <laughs> being intimate, I mean, there's like, you can be intimate with clothes, like with, like with what you wear, like lingerie, or you can just go straight to it and have sex, or there's foreplay and stuff like that, yeah. Because on the show, I saw you go upstairs. Is that intimacy? I yeah, saw you look upstairs. <laughs> what happened upstairs? <laughs> We were just walking upstairs. Okay. After a kiss. Mm hmm People go upstairs like after a kiss to sleep. To do yeah, yeah. Stuff. So is that part of the intimacy? Uh, yeah, that's part of intimacy. I mean, we kissed and then we went upstairs to yeah. do whatever happened upstairs. Yes. I don't really. But if intimacy had to have a language, what's mm -hmm. your intimacy language? Um, I think kissing is one of my intimacy languages. Ew, yeah. I hate kissing. Really? Yeah. Why? Because then I really like you. Okay, yeah, okay. I think if I, have to I really, you. really give yeah. you like a French kiss, kiss. open mm -hmm. my mouth, like saliva. It's like saying I love you, <laughs> yeah, but when true. it's still early, it's still, mm -hmm. hey, kissing is. Dumb. I have to be like attracted to, even if it's right? early, like yeah. if I meet you the first day and I'm attracted to you, like I could kiss you. <laughs> so that's why you kiss Diamond. Yeah, Diamond's attractive, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What type of intimacy do you prioritize the most? Mental, emotional, spiritual, or physical? I think my intimacy language is definitely mental and spiritual. Mm. Because I can love you beyond all your human errors and flaws mm. if I see you spiritually. Because yeah, if I yeah. see you physically, you gain weight, I'm gonna have a problem. True. You're sick and have a cold sore, I'm gonna have a problem. You're drunk and you stinky and you wake up in the morning and you're not cute, I'll have a problem. Yeah. But if I'm, I have an intimate relationship with your spirit, I'll forever see you in your perfection. So yeah. that's what it is for me. That's, you're so deep, I love it. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> All right. What determines a person's dating value? I mean, for them on the market, what's, what's, what's oh the God. dating value, you know? Like for me to like date the person? Yes. Like what? So bad. So bad? No, I'm saying this is so bad, right. but I am such a like I'm such a materialistic person that Nothing I look wrong. yeah, I look at appearance like yeah. <laughs> and what you're wearing and your teeth like I just look at little little yeah, stuff. And aesthetic. it's so bad because I look at that before I actually yes. look at your personality. Yes. <laughs> First, yeah. Yeah. But that and then personality. So like your look and how you like put yourself together and then if like you can even like carry a conversation to me is very important. So if you had to define your type, city city boy? Uh yeah, like actually no, I kinda like gen like actually I'm lying, yeah, city boys. You're, you're city boy. <laughs> a yeah, city boy I, who I, can carry your conversation, you know? Okay. Who isn't just boring because there's a lot of guys who are like flashy, so they use their money to get girls, but, but they're, they're boring. boring. Yeah. yeah. So I want like both, you know? Okay. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. You should come to Dubai. <laughs> 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 well, I think for me, what determines someone's dating value is definitely material. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, I don't feel bad no more. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, yeah. aesthetic is very important. I mean, romance is about the picture, you yeah. know? And then, once I sit down and I hear what's in your mouth, mm -hmm. then I float away into now seeing you deeper and right, wanting to yeah. get to know you. But for me and my time, mm -hmm. You need to look the part. So yeah, yeah your car needs yeah. to be right, your shoes. Thank you. you your teeth, your right, veneers, your teeth. everything. Come on. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And your watch. Those are the, Thank the, you. the restaurant you're taking me, me to. Me too. The country we're going to meet in. When it's time to order the food, can you read? Come you on. Know? Like, a lot of guys can't they, read. They don't know. They don't even know what gourmet is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. Okay. okay. I think you're next. My turn, okay. <laughs> yeah. 
In your opinion, mm -hmm. do you think well-off men are better in bed? No. Hell no. no. Rich men <laughs> don't have time for, to sex you. Mm -mm. And that's fine. That's fine rich. because <laughs> they have time to do other things. To be in their masculine energy and make sure that you are taken to care be, of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the poorest of the poor will sex you <laughs> down. <laughs> Broke. But there is some rich men that, that are also good. But they don't have time. Yeah. They're, they're like one around. And also if you're a rich man and you can spend eight hours with me in a bed. Yeah, no, no, no. You have to find something to do. It's a, it's a problem. Yeah, you have to find something to do. What's going on with you? You know? <laughs> you need to like get up and like go on your laptop like or like make a call. in the morning yeah. you need to be out. Out. Oh, thank you. You know what I mean? <laughs> We need to stay rich. Hello. Are you willing to tolerate bad sex in a relationship <laughs> if other elements of intimacy meet your standards? So maybe the foreplay's good, but you know, the stick mm. ain't magical. It ain't Harry uh, Potter. I don't know. Powder. Uh, for me, I'm not really like, a, the foreplay can be like, like bad, yeah. but the sex has to be good or I'll just yeah. be bored. The strokes need to be like, Yes. Yeah. 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 Why am I cheating on you? <laughs> God. <laughs> Yeah. I think for me, yeah. it's just strokes are Important. are not for jokes. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not. A, I don't really care for foreplay. Like we strokes can, yeah. are not jokes. Yeah, strokes are not jokes. Yeah. Like, let's get into it. Yeah. And you have to know In like fact, what you're In fact, sometimes I even I'm also like, let's just get over the foreplay. Can we just get yeah, to the like strokes? can we go? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can we get dangerous? <laughs> okay. Can we start? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, an orgasm for a oh guy. God, I remember that question. Yeah. Diamond asked me that question. <laughs> oh, oh God. <laughs> for me, Fantana, an orgasm is a man's rugby touchdown. Mm -hmm. If you don't do it, yeah. I'll still do it myself. Right. So do yourself a favor and make me proud. And, make, yeah. and get me there. Because if you don't, while you're in the bathroom, I'm going to get there. <laughs> and you're going to look embarrassed. I'm going to ask yeah. you for water just to get you out so I can have the field to myself. <laughs> All right. I'm not. Oh, I'm, that's smart. Can I have some water, please? Go yeah. And while you the fridge. <laughs> Then I'm fine. That's fine. But yeah. he should feel so embarrassed. You must. A grown and I'm not man. gonna fake it for you because you need to know. <laughs> oh yeah, I faked it a lot. Well, oh and God. I'll give you a penalty again. I'll say, <laughs> okay, penalty. Let's see. Let's try again. Yeah. And you still fail. <laughs> You're eating me water. Yeah, I fake yeah. a lot for people. In a glass with ice and a and coaster and a straw <laughs> to keep you there longer. Take and I'll time. even tell you the class I want so you look for it. Mm, then you're nice because for me, I, I think I faked, I faked a lot Aww. for them to get off of me. Aww. And I won't talk to you again because it's like Aww. you're just... You're whack. Like, yes. You're but whack. if I'm dating you, like I think it's people that I date, that's why I, I make sure you know what you're doing. We don't want yeah. wet tissues. No. No. And when I fake, you can't really tell. I'm uh, so good at it. Yeah, so I'm so good, good. at it. I can't. And the guy is feeling like he's done something. I'm like, yeah. No, I can't. You didn't do anything. No, you didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll give you another try, but... You're yeah, you water. don't get another try. I'm, no, um, you're getting water. Yeah. Yeah. But if you, like, make me mad, then I'll say it one day in an argument. Yeah! That's why you, you never suck. make me like again. <laughs> yeah. 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 Passive. <laughs> Passive. Does your partner's body count matter to you? Why or why not? <laughs> Um, no, it doesn't. But if I'm familiar with the stock, mm. then it gets a bit tricky. So yeah. if it's you and I know you, mm -hmm. it's tricky. Yeah. Because I'm going to see you while we're doing it because like, guys were competitive. I want to know if she, she's got a big ass than me. Yeah. Like she so she's probably it. <laughs> winning them more than me. So if I know the body count and who they are, it's kind of like, Ooh. it's going to haunt me, yeah. man. Yeah. So I should never know. Rather keep her a mystery because then I'm gonna start because I'm we're competitive. Yeah, you know then you'll start thinking like, what is she? She do? got bigger boobs. Does she slap him yeah, in the face? Ah! I got a flat chair, you know. So body count, that's no. True. But I should I should know the stock. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. No. For me, I don't think it matters. But like the same like. What if you know the girl? Yeah. If I know what the if girl, it's me. Yeah. And then I'm like, yes. wait, like why? Like what if like we're having sex and you're thinking of somebody else that I know? Then yeah. I gotta like, what if you call me her name? Ooh. That's like so bad. So I just I don't want to know at all. Yeah. Like you could tell me the number, but just don't tell me who. Like, yeah. I also don't want to know. I don't want to know. Yeah. Just get out. All right. All right. Why do you think men are concerned about our body count? Yeah. I think men are concerned. I don't know. It's like an egotistic thing. Like I don't know. Maybe they just want to know. Like some guys can't be with someone who has more body counts than they do. Like for me, especially like in West Africa, like men over there, they like they really want to know like what a woman's body count is, who the person is. They want to make sure they don't know the person. Like, cause Ghana is so small. Yeah. So if you're not careful, you could have slept with like your boyfriend's cousin or your boyfriend's <laughs> brother. Yeah. Damn. So they want to know who, when, the time yes. span. And it's just like, oh my God. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I think for me, I view it as if everyone had a Lamborghini, yeah. Lambo wouldn't be special. So yeah, I think that's true. men look at women like they're supercars. Mm-hmm. That guys, we all have a BMW, yeah. but you don't have a Bentley. You, you know, I, I, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I think men are just, they so objectify yeah. everything, mm-hmm. you know, and they put it in value systems yeah. that way, I think. Yeah, we'll never true. know because we're not them. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Get over my body. I don't even care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need to live. Do you mostly accommodate men and what do they want during sex, or is it just a me, 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 give, give, give? Ah, uh, it should be me, me, me. But mm. I, I com- if I like you, I'll accommodate you. But if it's just like, okay, <laughs> if it's a just snack. like, yeah, like a little, you know, snack. A little snack is just like, you know, do it, whatever for me and just go away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But if I'm in a relationship with the person, I feel like it's important to also accommodate them yeah. after you accommodate yeah. me. I think for first. me, flow is important. Yeah. Like we need to flow and, and if, go like, yes, yeah. Yes, and if we're exclusive, especially, mm-hmm. hey, they need, I need to know what you like. Yeah, yeah. Because I also want to please you, you know, mm-hmm. I also want to come to the game and be like, <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. So I think it's important, yeah. 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 I think it is. Why are women relying so much on sex toys? Ish. Mm? It's because um, I feel like women are relying on sex toys because men are are, are tired, man. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it was COVID or something. I, I don't know. They're so lazy they're now. They're so lazy now. What do you mean you're tired after five minutes? It's been no, because they do manicures now. They're, they're also exhausted as they paint mm-hmm. their nails. Get they their hair done, facial. They're also running around like we are during the day trying to look Carrying cute. purses. But like, like, I, I feel like my toy goes further at, at times. More durable. It's durable. <laughs> and and it, it doesn't say to me, again? You know? I'm tired around you. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, okay, give me a moment. Give me a second, you know? <laughs> like, my toy is forever like... Drrr, it's forever. <laughs> like, when I'm in an exclusive relationship, yeah. I put away the toy. Mm-hmm. You must work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For me, I don't. I don't really use toys. That's what I'm saying. Like, if I'm with someone, yeah. if you know you can't, it's just kind of like I'll just leave you there. Just, just leave it. Up. So that's why I feel like it's important for people <laughs> to have sex on the first day. No, you have to. If yeah. You, if you don't try it, how are you gonna buy it? <laughs> exactly. I can't yeah. wait two weeks. I can't do all no, that. You, if you, you suck, you, you suck. Need to know. And you gotta and why go. Why am yeah. I keeping you around for a month? Even two days is too long. And then to that, find out later <laughs> that <laughs> that you can't, you know, bump the bump or it's do sleeping. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh gosh. Oh wow. Bye. Okay. <laughs> If a man doesn't claim his girl, is he free property? It's like a whole, all those girlfriends and everything, it's a new story I'm hearing. Like, so you yeah, don't have a girlfriend? You, you don't. Yeah, like. <laughs> yes. If a man does not claim his girl, he is on the market. And if I ask you if you have a girlfriend and you say no, I'm taking your word for yes, it. Because yes. I asked you, because yes. you, me, usually I don't like messing around with guys that are yeah. in relationships. So yeah. if I ask you. But the you, guy must say it, right? Yes, you must say it. Yeah. And for the girl, if I see you and like you're saying that's your boyfriend, I'm going to like sister to sister. Yeah. That's not your man. You that's know, not like, your man. Yeah. You're, like a lot of women are too beautiful to be with men like that. So for me, it's just like, girl, <laughs> yeah. that's our I man agree. and we got to like, let him he go. He needs to claim it. Yeah, it's important. If he's not, then. Uh, that's bad. It's a buffet. Yeah. Yeah. He's on the mm. for everybody. <laughs> what are misconceptions that you had about sex growing up that you don't hold now? I had a misconception that sex was sacred. Mm, yeah. It was like the well of value, the well of um, you know, status, eliteness, you know. Yeah. Once you do it, it's it's forever love. It's your partner forever and Literally, sex is just a portal for energy of creation <laughs> and creativity, mm-hmm. you know, and it's yeah. an escape from stress. Also, it's an antidepressant. Yeah. So it falls under virgin active for me. That's a gym here in SA. Yeah. Yeah. Like it, honestly speaking, we put too much value on this thing. And it's this is much. why it's messed up. Because most women, a guy sleeps with you, then she stalks him because you slept with, with me. me. It was just like, I thought we were a thing. Yeah. No, guys, it's just the treadmill. It's just the. It's a treadmill. Yeah. It's a treadmill. Yeah, okay? exactly. You treadmill. go on it, you get off. You sweat, <laughs> and then you're like, ha. Ah. And for you? For, oh, it's nothing. Oh, sorry, that sounded really bad. Um, To me, it like. It's nothing. Yeah, it's not you that agree. serious. Like, you can have one night stands and, like, just move on. Treadmill. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's yeah. not that serious yeah. for me. So what are the some of the wounds that have affected your intimacy? Eee, traumas. Sexual traumas. 
intimacy <laughs> traumas? <laughs> do I really have? I would say like for me, like me when I lost my virginity, that was like the most. Cause That's I was the like, trauma, right? Yeah, but I lost mine when I was like 18, 19, yeah. So I feel like I was a little older than some of the people that I went to school with that yeah. lost theirs. So I kind of felt like a little nasty a little bit yeah. and you know at one point like because like i'm a christian so you know like in the bible like they talk about like sex before marriage and stuff yes. so i thought i was going to hell for a long time i was oh, like oh girl. my god i'm going to hell yeah Sorry. and then after i was like wait <laughs> we all so, doing, we're it. All doing <laughs> yeah. it so yeah everybody's doing it so i'm fine yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. i think for me um the attachment mm. and then you need to be strangers after that like i've never yeah. seen your um your mole just yeah. under your left ball and yeah. now i need to see you in public and just act like i don't know you that's a trauma in itself yeah. because i've shown you so much yeah your whole body your like i've just given you and the next thing you you're like the this club yeah. you're nothing i need to sit here with you having lunch and you're here and that's yeah, that's, that's a weird. trauma yeah. I, I i feel i wish we had like buttons or a return my sex they, oh my god, I wish too. Yeah, oh my god, I would like, take like return a return my sex. Return it back. Take yeah, my body count yeah, back. Yeah, like can I return it? <sighs> like I wish we had a refund system. I wish. Yeah, like when we break up, like how I fetch my sweater, Some I can fetch like, my did sex. Did I really sleep with you? Yeah, like, where I could say, ooh, Fontana, stop the car. I actually need to fetch my sex I up fetch there. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, no, we need that. I we wish. need that. Can you give us that, please? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, oh. What are some things you do outside of the bedroom to keep the feelings of intimacy going all day? Finger me in the car. <laughs> and if we can slide into a public bathroom during dinner with our friends, <laughs> you know, yeah. um, I won't wear underwear. Find me in a bush. Um, a bush? Yeah, if we're at my parents' house, just behind the shed, even, know, if, it's, even if it's just the head, you know, just bathroom. just head back me, you know, like boop, you know. Oh lord! Yeah, just keep, just just keep it, keep it hot. Keep mm -hmm. it, find me off guard, you know. Make it fun. When like I walk in the, the house club. and it's dark, yeah. jump me, you know. Do and, something, like, you know, like something. <laughs> just I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's true. I agree with everything you said too. Right. Like if you're in the club, you know, like yeah, a while we're dancing, whisper, do you know, something, just yeah, yeah, whisper, yeah. touch it. Something. The car outside. Hey, kitty, kitty. The kitty. Uber's outside. Something. Okay, Uber is doing, but still. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he can't see nothing. He has to yes, drive. Yes, he has to drive. So all the opinions that have been shared here are true. Okay, like, and they haven't been fed to us. There's no script, there's no auto cue, there's nothing. This is who we are in the dark at night. My name is Kanye Mbao. Thank you so much for joining us. And Fontana, thank yes. you for being here with me. Girl. Right? <laughs> thank you. Um, well, I'm Fontana, and yeah, thank you for listening to our It's a Bitsy conversation. And don't forget to tune in to Netflix's Young, Famous, and African on May 19th. <laughs>